Right, but we are out of the FA Cup in magnificent fashion, I would have to say. Uh, absolutely cruising, dominating versus Fulham, and then this happens. Feast your eyes on this. So Schultz goes and, I don't know, Schultz, sorry. Keeps the ball in for Fulham. Notice the defender in here who trips over his own legs. And then Mitrovic scores. At this point, it's now 2-1 to them. Admittedly, it was 1-1 before, right? But we were absolutely dominating. And then, yeah, in the last minutes, they scored two more goals. Absolutely pathetic. <laughs> Right, fellow Vikings, welcome back. Are you crazy here? And uh, yeah, that game really made me crazy because that was just pathetic, right? Looks like an absolute disgrace now. And uh, yeah, honestly, we just dominated the game. And after that goal, it just went, Pfft. but yeah, Ugh. infuriating. More infuriating things happen. Eight, 18th place, Burnley show up, 1-1. One, one. We absolutely smashed them again, which is, you know, common theme, but yeah, 1-1, one, one, they scored in God knows when it was. <sighs> we then followed up by at least a good result in the, um, what's that? That was the FA Cup third round, where we won 3-0 over Bristol Rovers. We did play all the youngsters and everything, including this guy, Philip Bongo, who is only 16, and uh, yeah, looks very promising, and he even got a goal, so congrats to him. Followed that up with a nice win over Leeds, 2-0. Jusuf Paulsen getting both games. He also scored in the next one versus Wolves, surprisingly. Uh, away, 1-0 win. Then the Fulham calamity happened. And now we've recently just been shafted by Chelsea. Yeah, they were out for revenge after uh, our surprising win at the start of the season. So, um, yeah, not great, I would say. But And then we go into now versus Tottenham with, well... Not in the best shape, I would have to say. Uh, we've made all sorts of transfers, by the way. This is January, so all sorts of stuff is happening, which is very exciting. Sadly, the only thing that's really happening is that I'm just selling loads of random players um, that are just never going to play. Fiona Sisto has gone to Senate for 10 million. Uh, Cornelius has gone to Bournemouth, which is a bit surprising, but yeah. Five or six, almost six million for him. Sruya Larsen, who was out on loan, but now. Benfica never played him, so I recalled him, and now I've just sold him to Salzburg for, what, 12 and a half, potentially. Lucas Lea, yeah, he's also gone to China, and he is joined by Matthias Janssen, who also went to China. Yeah, I'm just never going to play these people, and uh, uh, just get rid of them. Like, they're not going to develop or anything. We brought in this guy, just a youngster. I keep trying to find, obviously, youngsters, and uh, whenever I find one, I just buy them, because, I mean, I have loads of money, <laughs> because we're not doing that many transfers so there's that um so our squad is actually looking a lot more healthy now also mr scott Olsen is going out on loan though just to get him some loads of playing time hopefully um just to develop him he is a youngster so uh, good to keep him around but yeah i'm just shipping out some of the dead wood um so yeah today we're playing tottenham and uh let's get ready to crack on again you'll notice that this one isn't Filled because I did promise to rest Mr. Delaney, but then Hoybia is now injured, so I can't even play Hoybia instead. So <laughs> I'm sorry, Mr. Delaney, I'm gonna have to break your my promise and then play you anyways. But yeah, it's pretty, I don't know, straightforward these days. I mean, Vas, Kresnitz, and Anas and Paulsen at the back, our left back extraordinaire, who's developing really well and playing like, phenomenally. Like 14 games in the Premier League and 7.13 rating. Not too bad. Feeling Delaney in the middle, Skull X and Von Larsen, and then Paulson up front. Paulson, who's found a bit of form recently. I mean, he has, what is that? 12 goals in 1990 appearances, which probably means that he's had 100 chances or something, I think. Uh, but yeah, let's see if we can. Uh, we drew the last time versus uh, Tottenham, and Mourinho has been slagging me off saying he wants revenge. So let's see if we can spoil the party. Now, Tottenham, of course, have a very, very good team. But I just went in and I noticed Harry Kane is actually injured. Which I guess it's good news for me. But they do have Danny Ings instead, who is just... Uh, he always scores versus me, which is really annoying. But, yeah, as you can see, Tottenham are seventh. Not having the best of seasons, but I'm sure that uh, they will just uh, change their fortune versus me. Right, as we go into the game, let's just hope for no funny business, at least. Then, at least we have a... 
decent chance of getting a good result, but yeah, you never know. <clears throat> uh, Eriksson is going to drive it forward, of course. Versus this. Ooh, Paul Larson! That was a, that was a pretty unexpected. <laughs> As he does a wheel, is he called a wheel cart down there? Good finish from the lad. Um, I was I was sure that Eriksson would just howl it miles away, but then he lays it up to Paul Larson, the first timer in the bottom. What's that? Well, the keeper's bottom left corner. Nicely done, lads. Defend! No, no, no. Let's let's score more goals. Ooh, that looked uh, looked dangerous, but no, they keep the ball. Okay, up towards Danny Ings. Ooh, why are we? We had many people forward there as Bale just takes on the world. Oh, great tackle from Paulson, actually. Ericsson, uh, long ball to Paulson, and he's in good. F I had to say it right. Good defending though from I think it was Alderweire, which is surprising if you've ever played Tottenham. <coughs> nah, it's not. He's amazing in the first season. Are we gonna build from here? Just don't do anything silly. Then I will be happy. Let's just have some chances. You don't even have to score as long as we finish off chances. That's fine with me. Don't make them counterattack. I mean, that was some lovely passing, honestly. And if you're gonna do that, I'm definitely not gonna complain. That was some beautiful football. And we do do that. Do do. We do do that sometimes. But then usually at some point we do lose the ball and then it uh, <laughs> turns into a counterattack against us, which is not good. But here, some great passing football. And then Skull just slots it in there. Top corner. Well, almost. As you can see from like my transfer. Oh, as Sun goes through. Ooh, it's great save from Schmeichel there. I am starting to, like, I'm, I'm getting bored of these old guys and I need to be developing the youngsters because the only chance I have of getting new players is literally the, my youth squad and, uh, and down the road regens, new gens, whatever you want. But yeah, I'm going to get rid of some of the old ones that are not going to develop because frankly, they're not, they're not good enough. But players like Jakob Boon Larsen, uh, let's see, here he is. I mean, 22 years old, right? And he's playing really well. So that's why I've just stuck with him. He actually has potential to get, to become very, very good. And, uh, same with the youngsters I have in my under 18s and under 23s. Like, I'm gonna start playing them. Paul's losing? Oh, great save from Louise. Oh, yeah, yeah. I hate to say this, but we are absolutely dominating again in terms of chances. Ah, <sighs> it's, it's, I mean, it's good to see that we play well, but. Oh, it's so frustrating when then we can't score. We've had two great goals this game at least, so not too bad so far. Best to Paulson. Oh, yeah, but could save again from Ruiz. Maybe can't quite whine at Mr. Paulson there, but uh, you want to see some more. And Tottenham. And this is still the same highlight. Oh, Son is in. Don't. Yeah. Uh, oof. I thought it might hit the post and go out, but yeah. Very nonchalantly from Mr. Son and just chipped the goalkeeper. Don't need to see that one again. No, just get to half time now. No funny business. Right. Well, Tottenham are playing very Mourinho esque, which I guess is a good good thing for us. Um, we might be winning, but yeah, don't get complacent and all that. Uh, still improve words, English, say it. That is the way you do it. You click buttons and hope for the best, right? Preferably as fast as humanly possible. That is how I do it. Uh, as Tottenham are now playing very well on Mourinho esque. <laughs> Bale to open out Ings. I mean, that was strange. They were trying our patented. And then Ings scored. I mean, pretty much out of nowhere there, but okay. They were trying our patented heading Tiki Taka. Which, you know, a bit of respect. I think it was actually from the chest first and then the header later from. Then, like, it's a bit random. It looks like we have the ball. Oh, no, no. He literally jumps over the ball. Who is that? Who is that? Anderson. He literally jumps over the ball so Danny Ings can just shoot. And of course, Danny Ings is, like, a bit of a legend in FM. He's just one of those, like, good performers, I think. Son. Yeah, yeah. You're not going to score from there. As we are going to do some changes here. Daniel Vest is struggling. So I want to get Mele on, who's also a bit of a... I mean, he's only 22. and from 23, actually. He's, he's just not very good, is he? But... I mean, maybe we can develop him into something. You never know. Also, Robert Sko is sadly struggling a bit. So we'll put Braithwaite out there. <clears throat> and then see from there. Oops, what was that? Okay, just... No funny business. I mean, we have... They've definitely clawed their way back into the game. But I still feel we had the better of it, right? Ericsson. Ah, Ericsson. 
Ericsson, Ericsson, Ericsson. I just can't seem to make him work somehow. And he's like our best player by a mile, right? It's just not not amazing. I mean, Son is so open there. What are we doing? <laughs> Howls it over. He's defending there from Son. I'm not going to man mark Danny. That would be silly. Um, okay, one last change, I think. What should we do? This is Paul. I mean, he's not having a great game, so let's put Dolbear up there. Up there. Nothing literally happened in the last... I mean, look at the stats there. But 20 shots off target. That is just not good enough. That is our problem. Like, we play some lovely football, but we just can't hit the darn target. So, yeah, I guess it's our own fault. Uh, not terrible, but uh, you kind of want to win that, right? Well, let's get forward because we have another big match right ahead of us. I can't even remember who it is, but stay tuned. Oh no! The worst news of all time! Lord Bender is leaving! Well, I mean, he's not really here. But yeah, he's joining FC Norseland on a, on a free at the end of the season. But no, that's not actually what I wanted to show you. I wanted to show you that Josef Paulsen has been English Premier Division Player of the Month in... What is that then? Uh, I guess January, right? Does it even say? I mean, it just probably says somewhere, but... Yeah, he's won it! Five games, five goals. Also, I figured out who we're playing. It's Liverpool. Back in a bit. Right, well then. This is not good news. Brexit has hit. Well, I mean, it hit a bit ago, but yeah, this is basically the ramification of Brexit. We're only allowed to register 17 foreign players, and literally all our players, well, except for Casper Schmeichel, actually, are considered foreign. So... We now only have one keeper, which is Michael. Uh, Domizi has had to come out as well, which is fine. I have Andreas Paulsen, who is at least under 21. So, <coughs> scary. And, um, yeah. But let's go into Liverpool, because who doesn't love getting absolutely humiliated? Uh, I certainly love that. And, uh, yeah. Team actually just stays the same. And <laughs> look how thin our squad is now. Hoibia. Should we put... Oh, no. Well... Uh, sorry, I'm just making noises. But yeah, we're just going to stick the exact same team and then hope for the best. Because I'm not expecting the best here. But, that being said, Liverpool are actually... It's like, is this a cup game or something? I mean, they're not taking this serious, are they? Ricky up front. Mane, Vinaldo, and Minamoru is on the pitch. I mean, they must have loads of injuries. I'll check that in a second. Um, yeah, I mean... I couldn't click him there as we could just start off. We're gonna give them an easy goal to begin with. That would, that would be, uh, I did tell the lads too that we owe Liverpool after what happened the last time. As uh, Origi's now in, <laughs> I mean, he smashes it wide. That guess that's why he doesn't normally play. But yeah, let's just take a look quickly at Liverpool. What is what's going on here? It's not actually what's going on. There's just a bit of inch. I mean, they're just rotating or what. Oh my, they're not taking us seriously. Oh my god, oh my god, we're gonna still gonna get wrecked even though they're playing the B squad almost. Of course, in theory, we do owe all of England, considering we raised and pillaged the entire land for god knows how many hundreds of years, so um, I guess that could work versus, ooh, versus any team, but I'm not sure that's what we want. Paulson? Oh, what? That... And then Skull just runs it out. Yeah, that's... Uh, well, at least they didn't ca 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 counter from that chance then. So, Fabinho just launches it forward to Joachim Anderson. Are we going to... That is very stupid, Joachim Anderson. Very stupid indeed. And now Mane. <sighs> yeah, when they have that guy on the pitch. Yeah. What the heck was that? Are you joking? I mean, it's not even close to hitting our player. If you feel so pressured, then play it back to the goalkeeper, right? Oh, crying out loud. Thiago. Minamono. Hits it over. I mean, if we had a ch If we were ever going to beat Liverpool, it's definitely when they have this kind of squad playing. But it just goes to show you that when a three-and-a-half-star play uh, team play a uh, five-star reputation team, then these things happen. Uh, you can play as beautiful football as you like, but... Yes, I just turned your players into mush. Okay, are we gonna are we gonna claw our way back to this at least? 
Origi now. Except Minamono, I mean, smashes it off the post. Right, I mean, I'm not saying we deserve to win at this point, but I think we deserve to at least pass it to our own bloody players, which is just apparently impossible. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna just ball at them, and they're all playing terribly. Skull is actually having a bit of a bit of an injury. Let's play this half like, Whoa! It's just a pose and just randomly scores it. I mean, good cross from Boon Larsen, and then Mr. Paulson scores, but yeah, Robert Skull is injured. I'm gonna have to get him off. Great weight, winger, but support. Yeah. I mean, maybe not. Yeah, I don't need to see that again. That was a beautiful goal. We all remember it. Oh no, Liverpool are angry now. Minamono, Fin, Santiago. I was gonna say oh, Robertson, not Robertson. I mean, why? Why are you doing this, Michael? I'm not blaming Michael for that one, but he just sat down. That's not trying. I mean, it smashes in the corner. But take a look at Michael. He's just like, yeah, I'm not gonna bother. Thiago. I mean, no one is trying to tackle him, so I guess that's why. And then we're not marking Robertson, and then he just smashes it. He just sits down, Michael. Maybe he could have done better with the angle there. Could have gotten a hand to it, but oh well. Come on, are we gonna instant reply? I mean, we do some sort of reply, and I think we just left it on red as Jota goes forward. Netting. Here we go. Ericsson is having a shocker. Let's get Lucas Anderson in there, because at least he wants to try, I think. Feeling we don't really have any midfielders left, that's the problem. Daniel Vass is also struggling. Let's get Joachim Mele on, who... He wanted, to, he wanted to go out on loan, and I said, fine, I'll play you a little bit, but yeah. We're playing Liverpool away. I'm not going to... I'm not going to dump my one of my best players. <sighs> Should I have dumped Smigel, though? I mean, what is that? Wonderful goal from Thiago. Let's just see that, about that, because I'm not so sure it was. Smigel! Sports Interactive, are you listening? Seriously, we need to get these videos viral so Sports Interactive will actually take a look at them and then see what kind of crappy game or game engine, match engine they are designing. Braithwaite, I mean, that was very hopeful. Will Larsen, is he gonna make an assist again? Of course, ooh, nice ball to Paulson. Okay, let's get in there. Men in the middle. Oh no, I'm, I'm worried now. Okay, nice bit of ball there to Mele. Is he gonna get the assist? I mean, he somehow is in use of pulse with another goal. I'm not sure how we're doing this, but yeah, we don't really need to see it again. Whew, well, we are in some ways competitive. I mean, of course, I could have played more defensive, I could have done all things, but okay, are they gonna at least make it look convincing? <laughs> Matip, <laughs> good defending from Matip there, sadly in the wrong end. Okay, another corner. Virgil, he can't even score. What a terrible header he is. All right, well, I certainly didn't expect to win. But I certainly expected to put a few, put a few passes together here and there. And uh, we did a few, but it's just so frustrating to see that the only way the match engine works is by making having you make mistakes rather than them just playing you out the field for goals. Which Credit to Liverpool. I mean, they did play better than us. And uh, yeah... Back to the drawing board, I guess. Unlucky boys, it wasn't meant to be. Right, well, there you have it. Vikings have indeed been defeated, and I just noticed. Well, okay, six, eight days. I thought it was a week. That is fine. That is fine. So, how does that leave us in the league? Well, we're still six, uh, but Tottenham are kind of breathing down our throats now. Uh, we do have a game in hand, and uh, of course, the next set of matches are not going to be easy either. I mean, Villa hopefully bounce back, right? But this. We want to end this run of bad form because then we play Arsenal and United away. And Crystal Palace, always scary. So yeah, this could be a terrible, terrible run we're going into. But I think for the sanity of the videos, I'm going to play these three matches and then we'll come back for some see the spore action. And uh, yeah, that should be that. Uh, if you enjoyed my rage, then uh, please like and subscribe and comment and all that. And uh, I'll see you next time.